find vengeance Hello there. Oh yeah, you know, it's your boy Kickstream Z. So like, okay guys, so like I said guys, it's your boy Kickstream Z and today we're gonna be doing a discussion video and today I'm gonna be talking about is Shando is really a pay to win game. So I've been looking at the Shando community and also looking at YouTubers and various amount of YouTubers and they always make and discuss in the video saying that Shando is a pay to win game. So I'm gonna be talking about like the update, the new update thoughts and stuff and a lot of stuff like that. So this is gonna be like non-scripted. So the more likely I'm gonna make a little bit more mistakes, but at the same time, I'm gonna be like more a little bit slow and be concise with the point and trying to like get the point out to like anybody that is watching this video. And like I said, make sure you like and subscribe and click the notification bell as always, because like I said, I'm gonna be doing like no commentary live streams and also helping people with grinding and stuff and um, grinding for tail pieces and a bunch of things like that. So anyways, let's like waste any time and let's get right into it all right guys so we already at the um menu so as y'all can see like i've done i've been like um like i said again i'm, I'm going to like max rank myself after i'm finished with making this video so um i just want to make this video out because honestly i just want to make this point because like at the same time people i haven't really been like grinding scrolls and stuff scrolls are really hard so you can still like go to locations to find these champions i don't really like i honestly think that these champions are real good because not all these good champions um you know sub abilities and stuff like you can now teleport to scrolls and stuff that's actually good but we're now focusing on the gen 3 tell beasts so we got this alpha cho cho spirit so this is the seven tails so these are the tell beasts and um you know what i'm saying like are they really that good so they're actually good because i saw like in my life on my last live stream that they are actually they can actually do like good damaging and they also act like good design and stuff but i never got like a gen 3 tell beast but i've got the gen 2 tell beast i'm like dang i'm kind of like outdated so um like i was saying so i'm gonna be looking at the um let's look at the cheats so as y'all can see people the game is kind of pay to win because like anytime you need like a bloodline bag they'll like force you to buy a bloodline bag because like if you have like a good bloodline and you're trying to get like a new bloodline you accidentally spend it on like something that you really don't want to but then on the top of that then you want to get the bloodline back so uh yeah well anyways um like you look at this you need 50k rail coins to literally get like any type of like a bloodline like let me tell you something if you go to the rail this so this is not gonna be like an editing video this is gonna be more like a focusing on points so look at all of these bloodlines like look at all of this you want to get all these blood all these good bloodlines right look you have to pay for it that's like ten dollars so 800 robux like in that currency will equal to 10 robux you USD dollar like ten dollars USD so you need to pay like let's say like one hundred dollars so one hundred dollars equals like one million rail coins if I'm not mistaken it's more like 500k rail coin if you think about it but at the same time um I'm not gonna go into it uh the spin same thing but you have to keep like ranking up and just resetting your um rink but um like I said we come here for this so basically the gen 3 pack is not really good in my opinion because like during my like live stream I was like trying to get the seven tails because they released it but then at the same time they released the pack now the pack is a little bit more pricey as y'all can think about it it's more double than the other uh, regular prices of the game passes because these are worth a lot and i'm just eating to myself that okay maybe i just don't really like shando like shando sometimes get on my last nerves so i'm just sitting right here just thinking okay man i just think that the rail games are getting too far with this pay to win method so if they keep doing this will they ruin their game so in my opinion i think they they could ruin their game in general because if you think about it not a lot of people play shando life like they used to because the game was originally was very popular like shinobi life 2 was a popular game at its finest in its prime but at the same time since that copyright it changed everything like two years ago it started to make them to add like more different variations into the game like instead of calling like hiki 
kiki um genkai they call it bloodlines and changing the map and changing everything like the hidden leaf village and stuff like that in that nature so now that um the game is like revamp and stuff and now the game is coming more like more unbalanced because of this bloodlines and also like the mechanics and stuff like arena x and it's just so annoying because at the same time that's why i don't do arena x because it's just too much because i can't really like make a full good move set like my move set is already trash like i got a champion i use mud i use two strong fire elements and why the last the last element for yang and also a bloodline from my forge rin goku and uh yeah that's all i use and um and also kaneki bloodline and also apollo sand and that's pretty much it and also eight tails from um gen 2 so like i said people it's just like i just think that the game needs like I don't know but i'm pretty sure the game is probably might dying because of this pay to win process so um let me know in the comments down below and what is your thoughts about it in uh see you next time when i bang the video and peace out and buy extreme this is because like i said it was just a small discussion and uh yeah i'll see you next time and bye and enjoy and happy gen 3 farming <laughs>